हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर एमरजेंसी मेडिसिन चैनल टुडे एडिंग ऑन वन मोर ड्रग to the emergency medicine drug series that is labetalol this emergency medicine drug series is mainly for a quick revision prior to the exam so we shall be discussing under these headings so let's start first starting with the indication in emergency room labetalol is usually reserved for acute management of hypertensive crisis that may even include acute hypertension of pregnancy hypertension associated with acute ischemic stroke intracranial hemorrhage aortic dissection pheochromocytoma associated hypertension it is also considered for use in acute hypertension peri and post operatively it is also useful for the treatment of acute overdose caused by sympathomimetics like amphetamine methamphetamine cocaine so these are the indications for use of labetalol in emergency room next coming to mechanism of action it contains both alpha 1 adrenergic antagonism and beta 1 and beta 2 blocking activity it also has intrinsic sympathomimetic activity labetalol action results in decreased peripheral vascular resistance without significant alteration in heart rate and cardiac output it has equal beta 1 and beta 2 blocking action alpha and beta blocking depends upon route of administration by oral administration the ratio is 1 is to 3 and through intravenous the ratio is 1 is to 7 labetalol even has membrane stabilizing activity next coming to dose and route of administration in emergency room the initial dose is 20 mg which is given over 2 minutes and the dose can be repeated every 10 minutes until sbp is within the desired range or a max of 300 mg over 24 hour period is reached followed by which continuous infusion can be started at a rate of 0.5 to 2 mg per minute with a potential to titrate coming to oral dose oral dose is started with 100 mg initially and is increased by 100 mg every 2 to 3 days usual oral dose range from 200 to 400 mg every 12 hours not to exceed 2400 mg per day next coming to metabolism after an iv injection the onset of action is 2 to 5 minutes with a peak action at 5 to 15 minutes with a half life of 5.5 hours metabolism is mainly through conjugation to glucuronide metabolites excreted in urine and via the bile into the feces next coming to formulation levetolol is available in injectable form as 5 mg per ml and in oral formulations we have 100 mg 200 mg and 300 mg next coming to side effect the most common side effect is orthostatic hypotension which is more common through iv route and more common with a higher dosing other side effects are headache dizziness nasal congestion dyspepsia other rare side effects are hyperkalemia can be seen in renal transplant patients hepatotoxicity and hypoglycemia more commonly seen in diabetic patients taking labetalol contraindications to labetalol labetalol is contraindicated in symptomatic cardiac failure in av block severe bradycardia cardiogenic shock and better avoided in patients with bronchial asthma and copd the last one is the important considerations while giving labetalol bp must be monitored every 5 to 10 minutes while administering labetalol it must be used with caution in liver failure patients so hope this shall be useful thank you